I'm Mason from the Spokane Public Library, and I'm here today in People's Park, just downriver from downtown Spokane and the Central Library. I like coming to parks like this one because they're free to use and are an easy way to explore nature near to us. Today, I'm picking up litter or trash that has not been thrown away correctly. When we leave litter outside, it affects our ecosystem, animals, and our own health as well. Picking up litter is one way we can care for our community. But I've been wondering, once our trash is all bagged up, what happens next? To look for answers, I visited the library and found Turning Waste to Energy from the city of Spokane. This book explains how trash is picked up from curbside bins, the trash cans outside our homes, and taken to a large trash facility by trash trucks. So here in Spokane, we burn our trash. But I still want to know why we no longer use landfills. To learn more about this, let's go visit Austin, who works for Spokane County Public Works. Come on. Hey, we're here in Colbert, Washington, north of the city of Spokane, and we're at a landfill. I'm joined by Austin, who works for the county of Spokane. Austin, I thought this was a landfill, but I don't see any trash anywhere. That's right. There actually is still trash. It's just buried out there. and. When this was an active landfill, people would go out and take their trash. There'd be these big open trenches. People would throw their trash and chemicals down the side of these trenches. And then when it was about full, they'd mix everything up and bury it again. And they did this for almost 20 years until people started complaining nearby about their drinking water tasting really nasty. You're telling me to get rid of their trash, people had dug a hole here in the land and put their trash into the hole and then just buried it. And that was supposed to solve the problem of having trash. That's right. I don't think we really realized how bad just putting trash and chemicals into open dirt would be because what was happening is rain and snow would come down and really mix with that trash on the way down and it would get down and contaminate the water that we were drinking. And unfortunately, people were drinking that water. And when, you know, people finally realized, oh, I'm drinking this gross water, we had to shut everything down. We had to put a plastic liner on top to make sure that the rain and snow was not mixing with that trash and contaminating our drinking water. The trash in the ground was making the water dirty. So now the landfill has been sealed so that water's no longer mixing with the trash. So the landfill is no longer being used, but I see all of this equipment and you obviously work out here. What is still being done today to this landfill that's actually closed? Yep, so we still have to make sure that people nearby are not drinking any nasty water, make sure that they're drinking clean water. And there's things like landfill gas and other things that we have to make sure are not people are not getting exposed to. And because this type of situation has happened with the rest of the landfills around the county, it really spurred the need for something like the waste to energy facility because we needed a better option to dispose of our trash. Well, I'm so glad there are people like Austin taking care of this closed landfill, but I want to learn more about the waste to energy plant you mentioned. So let's go visit that next. Hey, I am here with Elizabeth who works for the city of Spokane. Elizabeth, can you tell us where we are? Yeah, you're at the City of Spokane's Waste to Energy Facility. And this is where all the trash that is made in the Spokane region comes here. We burn it up and we can make electricity with it. Wait, you're burning trash? I don't get how that works. Can you explain that to me? Would you like to come and see how it works? Yes, let's take a look. Let's go. You're looking at the tipping floor, which is where everybody is gonna dump out their trash, whether that's coming in a big garbage truck or somebody's pickup truck, you're all gonna dump it onto the tipping floor. Okay, I dump my trash onto the floor, then what happens with it? We are gonna push all of that trash into the best name thing ever, the pit. And the pit is 40 feet deep and 150 feet across. It can hold about a week's worth of trash. The pit almost sounds like a landfill, like a hole you would just leave your trash in. Does the trash stay in the pit? Phew, 
no. You can notice that the trash isn't really staying anywhere. We're trying to move the trash into the very specific place, which is our boiler. So the claw is going to pick up the trash and drop it down into what we call a feed hopper or a funnel. And that's going to feed the boiler, which is where the flames are, which is everybody's favorite part. So the trash is catching on fire in the boiler. Oh yeah, it's catching on fire because that boiler is really hot. It can get up to 2,500 degrees in there and it can burn up the trash within 30 to 45 minutes. Wow, so what's happening as the trash is burning? Um, lining the walls of the boilers are about 20,000 gallons of water that are stored in these big steel pipes. And when water gets heated up, what does it turn into? The water starts to boil and it turns into steam, right? Yes. And steam is really powerful. So we use its power to go over a turbine. The turbine is a piece of machinery that when it spins, it generates electricity, which is how we get that waste to energy name, taking trash and getting electricity with it. So trash in the ground creates pollution sometimes. And what I'm learning from you is that when we burn our trash, we're able to treat the ash so that it has as little damage as possible to the environment and we're able to treat the smoke so it also damages the environment as little as possible. You're saying it exactly right, Mason, because there's really no good way to ever work with trash. Here at The Waste of Energy, we are able to find at least a good use for our trash and then do all of these steps to make it so that it would be as least harmful to go into the environment as possible. Now that I know how much work goes into handling our trash, I really want to try to reduce my footprint and how much trash I create. Awesome. If you want to learn more, check out Turning Waste to Energy from the Spokane Public Library. Also visit our website to see the events we have coming up, as well as to check out books, movies, items from our Library of Things collection, and so much more. Thanks for exploring Spokane with me. We'll see you next time. The world's so